Hello everyone. In this video I will explain everything about mutations. Well, the guide will be divided into three categories. 1. What are mutations? A description of them. 2. How to use mutations correctly and what mistakes you make. 3. How do you get materials for the respective mutations? This episode will only be about mutations, because they are very important and part of progressing very quickly. That's only if all the teams come together here. Red Hives, subscribe to this channel. Blue Hives, press that like button. White Hives, leave a comment. If you are a mixed hive, prepare very well, because you have to fulfill all the mentioned requirements. 1. What are mutations? Mutations are a mechanic that buffs the stats of certain bees in the player's hive. Mutated bees have a different colored level number in their hive slot and on their wings than the standard white, respective to what stat it's mutated with. A mutated bee can become temporarily radioactive, and the radiation can spread to neighboring bees in the hive. Every time the player feeds a bee a bitterberry, it has a 1 in 1k chance to get a random mutation. <laughs> if the bee is radioactive, the chances are increased to a 1 in 100 chance, and royal jellies, moon charms, star jellies, favorite treats, and special treats have a chance of making the bee mutated. Atomic treats guarantee a mutation when fed to a bee, regardless of whether it is radioactive or not. Mutations are of five kinds and of different colors. Attack buff that has a red color. Convert amount that has an orange color. Gather amount that has a green color. Energy that has a light blue color. The ability rate that has a purple color. The highest mutation value a bee can get depends on its level. For example, only level 23 plus bees can get a plus 5% bee ability rate mutation. 2. How to use mutations correctly and what mistakes you make. Considering that mutations are important, we must be more careful about how we use them and which bees. People are used to giving a mutation to a bee without knowing what it is doing, and then leaving as if nothing had happened. Let's be serious. What sense does it make for a baby bee to have an attack mutation or for vicious bee a gather amount mutation? As we know, bees have their favorite food. Well, bees can also have favorite mutations. For example, vicious bee with attack mutation, buoyant bee with convert amount, festive bee with ability rate and more. I can't give you all the examples from the game. You have to think about how you apply each mutation. I will only tell you that event bees need bee ability rate mutations. And if you want to have a hive full of mutations, make sure you use bees that will stay in the hive for a long time. I'm not going to mutate a bee and then use royal jelly on it. In this way, you waste your materials as well as your mutation. Be very careful when you want to make a gifted bee that has the perfect mutation. If the bee is still radioactive, do not try to make it gifted. The bee will become gifted, but you will lose that mutation. Wait for the radioactivity phase to disappear, then you can make it gifted. If somehow you happen to have beequips equipped on the bee you want to mutate, when you mutate a bee that has a beequip equipped, make sure you revisit the catalog and re-equip the beequip. 3. How do you get materials for the respective mutations? Considering that to mutate a bee you need neon berries and bit berries, I will explain how you can get them. The most favorite method is to do puff shroom runs. They drop neon berries as well as bit berries. Another method is to harvest the planters. Focus more on pesticide planter as it drops both. Try to plant it in the spider field more, but move it to the bamboo field as well as the strawberry field because the field is degrading. Mondo chick drops you both. Coconut crab can also drop both treats. You can start an RBC challenge and get some. I hope you this mutation guide helps and I hope you do what you think is right. I remind you again that you must like and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. It was me Zap Player, your favorite troll. Stay safe, stay strong and stay cool. Bye.